fair enough. Just sounds more like of an annoyance than anything. The killing of JFK, a theory. Benjamin Arvin. You've seen the movie, Discover the Truth. A superb work of speculation, plotted with a amazing skill and showing a level of mag magnetic artistry not usually present in such academic pieces. A thrilling theory I couldn't put this book down. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. paper in there I want to read I want to see what's in there is there something else there uh, did I just take the bottom of the drawer out Terence Greenbrier 1888 Dry Creek Road Horace Grove. I can not read that. You can do better. What if JFK wasn't JFK? What? Looks like someone was a bit of a JFK JFK fan. Back to basics. Accidental Pariah. A message from the future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. A James Bond for today's audience. Having a theory worth its salt. Uh, what's under there? What have you been doing? Gentlemen. What? Yeah, it's probably not the best thing to be looking at here. A Stranger Under the Roof. The number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. Stranger Under My Roof Understanding Teens. The Teen Years. A fraught with challenge of all types, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, but these changes don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you've yet faced since having children. This book holds insights into your teen's behaviour from the very beginning as he or she first enters adolescence. Up through the end of the teen years as he or she enters young adulthood. The practical strategies here are based upon well-tested principles of pediatric psychology presented by Dr. Eliza Medina, herself a mother of two teenagers, prepared to gain new tools for establishing a productive, healthy and loving dialogue with a stranger under your roof. I'd never had such a good conversation with my daughter. 
Eleanor Shepherd, the Atlantic. These simple tools can make all the difference to a relationship with your child. Sean Kelleher, Northwest Review of Books. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth. From an editing standpoint, there's a word. Limit. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. Not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy re rewrites. The readers of home theatre aficionado, aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on this, on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for the, his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then somebody m will be happy. Brent Kirkwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theatre Aficionado Magazine. 0451. Do I need to remember that? This corner's a bit dark. Yeah, that looks like a standard trash mag. Readers tell us about their worst moments. Yep. Yep, I do need it. Oh, wrong button, that one. Is there a button to run? It was 0451. Dear Mr. Mason, please find and close your original document and type and a typed copy of your records for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our office. Thank you for entrusting our firm with your this important matter. Will and Testament. I, Oscar Mason. Possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items on my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my past. 1. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. 2. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors living or dead. 3. I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and sur surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money accounts to my nephew, Terence L. Greenbrier, Jr., of Ellis County. That would be our father. In the event that said Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then and in such event 
the bequest to him shall fall to the fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate I subscribe my name to this will this 13th day of August 1973 signed Oscar Mason and I cannot read that one it's probably just the original okay nothing else in there John Russell opened his eyes and saw them the stars twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even though that place was a million miles away, no, he blinked the, the sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet, his bare, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. No idea what that's supposed to be. Processing his sick fleck toenails. Scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fi fiber. Turn it. Then the, I don't know. What are those symbols? Fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned with the phrase Matter Transparence Operator. Then he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages had passed before, but now, a man, they needed him. Now more than ever, changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure would, what to con construct I think that's a misspelling from it how to assemble it so he made the machine how to transport his bodily across time bodily across time transport him bodily across time that doesn't really make sense and now he stood there on the bridge of the star star ship Archimedes comet and of the vessel because only he who had saved the president's life twice before could helm the near naive crew to their destiny the fate of the galaxy okay Let's put that back up there. A bunch of coupons. Save 25 cents. U US National Forestry Manual. Where does this hallway go? Two more rooms. Well, there's another room over there.
part. Reproductive system production. By Sam. Directions. Blower two stories. Events are all out of order. Get a sheet of lined paper. Write reproductive system worksheet six. Number six at the top. Then choose one of the two stories, A or B, and rewrite it. Begin with the title and your name. Find a topic sentence to begin your paragraph. Put the sentences in chronological order. Make sure the last sentences, sentence is a good concluding statement. The menstrual cycle, or I am produced in the testicles. Do I really want to be reading this? <laughs> oh, I will. It travels through the fallopian tube. The ovary releases the ovum. About two weeks later, since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. If the egg doesn't meet a sperm, it dissolves. While the ovum is developing, the lining of the uterus is giving, is getting thick and soft. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries and the process begins again. Ovum starts to develop. Or B. I am produced in the testicles. I go from the vast deference to the urethra. The life of a sperm cell. I go through the cervix and the uterus and into the fallopian tubes in search of an egg cell. I deliver, develop for two or three months in epididymis. epididymis. I can't really, I can't pronounce that. When the penis becomes erect, I leave the epididymis and travel up into the body through the vas deferens. As I pass the prostate gland, the seminal vesicles and the cowper's glands, fluids are added so that I can leave longer and swim for more easily. Live longer and swim more easily. Without me, an egg cell couldn't begin the amazing process of breeding reproduction the urethra carries me along with about 200 million other sperm out of the penis in the in a process called ejaculation if i can find the ovum before the other sperm do i'll be the winner part of a fertilized egg that's quite accurate world history and it doesn't really say anything about it. I'm not gonna play that, it could be copyright. whiskey from the desk of Don Fritz publisher Mercury Books Inc dear Mr. Greenbrier I write I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up follow to Accidental Pariah despite the low sales of the Accidental Saviour we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first, and so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working as your publisher, as we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavours.
that something? No. Okay. There we go. There's the accidental saviour. His first book. And I already turned the light on. Read letter. Samantha, please give this to your mother. That is so messy, I can barely read it. Thank you for having Danny over to you, to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighter tape and it gave my and I gave my permission. He need to spend less time with those games anyway. He needs to. No. Something. I can't read that bit. Let Samantha. know that she is welcome back to you, our house to visit anytime. That is hard to read. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Is he worth keeping in contact with just for the Nintendo though? Katie, please tell mum and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Hi Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive, it's kind of far, but I can drive you home too. So hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to. And we can meet in the parking lot after six, Samantha. Yeah, I'm, I am totally in. See you there then I'm gonna kick your butt get ready is that Kamehameha wave <laughs> so you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men yeah it turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2 at least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-eleven and ask for a turn but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild so after I was finished getting my butt kicked <laughs> I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But uh. then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Ah, so she was a new friend at this house, at this school. Back of cards. Newspaper clipping. Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Boone County plumes of smoke. Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week. As part of a forestry service run controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. Forestry crews have been preparing the area for months. The burn operation will take place between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly into Thursday, depending on speed of progress, according to the Forestry Service. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires in dry months, the operation will serve as a vulnerable, a valuable training tool for the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said Senior conser Conservationist Janice Greenbrier. 
Smoke will likely like linger in the area through the following weekends. Following weekend. Okay. Personal calendar. Weekly planner. This is hard to read. Notice of temporary personal transfer. To aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station at Flintlock National Forest, effective 9th 2nd 94. Please see attached personnel file. The overseeing officer at Flintlock Forestry Station, Senior Conservationist Janice Greenbrier, is charged with the supervision of transferred personnel. The duration of transfer will be based upon performance evaluation as well as the recommendation of the overseeing officer. Feels like there should be a light or something. Why is that light off? Ratmobile. Potty mouth. Okay. For Sam. And it looks like it's just the case. And that's the track list. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape, and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. So this was a present from Lonnie to Sam. Caution. Radiation area. Keep out. <laughs> Daniel called. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Sam, stop leaving every damn light on light in the house on you're as bad as your sister hey you say i'm bad but then <laughs> i have been haven't i to whom it may concern i samantha greenbrier am 17 years old and am therefore an independent fully functional human being the fact that you still forbid me from going to, into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with... Compare with Kadu, who's only three... Three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe... Uh, what's that one? S S uh, totally safe city on my own. Like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. <laughs> 